I was uh, very disappointed in our offensive approach today. I'm not taking anything away from Vermillion. I thought he was good, and uh, he had a lot to do with that. He, you know, he's a tall kid, throws over the top, and it's it's got severe uh, tilt and angle, which is tough on a hitter. But I thought he was leaving some balls up, and I didn't think the umpire was not calling them strikes. So we continued to uh, chase those pitches and pop them up. There was no money in the outfield. I know they ran one out of the yard, but the wind was blowing in, so there wasn't a lot of money to be made in the outfield today. And uh, unlike last night, where I thought we had a tremendous offensive approach, I didn't think it was real good today and uh, we need to do better, but give him credit. He pitched really good. And I was probably more frustrated because Jennings was, was grinding through some tough innings and working through traffic. And then we would come in and get a one pitch at bat, two pitch at bat. We just didn't grind uh, offensively today like we do. And we've been taught to do, and uh, hopefully we'll do better than that tomorrow. And as we move along, so. Very proud of Ryan Jennings still coming off the surgery. He wasn't sharp, but it was, uh, he competed his tail off. And uh, that's what I told him. He worked through some traffic. He minimized some innings. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, and Bryson Bells is a bright spot at the end of the game. First time ever to pitch in a college baseball game. We dropped his arm angle and he was 92, 93. He's been up to 95. And uh, that's what I told him after the game. If you throw strikes, you can close for us because uh, people don't see that too often. But Overall, look, they got a good team. We hit some balls hard, and they made some great defensive plays. Franklin is really good in center. He runs everything down, and I thought we touched some balls, and he got to them. And then even our run, still Netterville hits the ball in the six hole, and, and uh, Battles made a great play, and they almost turned a double play. So um, we're playing a really good team, and we need to find a way to come out and win tomorrow. All right, thanks, Coach. And Matt, did you have any questions for Coach? Yeah, I do. Coach, this is Matt Jones with the Democrat Gazette in Arkansas. I think you, you touched on this about not grinding out at bats, but but looked like your guys were swinging at a lot of first, second pitches from Vermillion today. Was was that the plan against him or or uh, just kind of what were your thoughts uh, in that regard? Yeah, you know, we Matt, we uh, all week we uh, we preached to him leading into the series, get your swings off because they are so good pitching. They're, their arms are so good. We don't want to get behind in the count. So that was kind of our message. And I thought last night, we did a really good job, but uh, today I just uh, I felt like because he was leaving his fastball up um, that we and it's easier said than done. I wouldn't say the plan was to uh, get out of there in one or two pitches, uh, and it's okay to jump at the first pitch. But uh, I, and, and we laid off a few of them. And the umpire was not calling it, so he was calling them balls, and he uh, he's, he he set his strike zone, so we needed to stay with it. And I just thought. The frustrating thing to me is we kept chasing it and uh, the, the at-bats were way too quick. I had to call an offensive timeout in the first inning because he went two pitches to Young, one pitch to Wells, and and uh, Jennings had worked his tail off in the first inning. So I wouldn't say it was our plan. I just think it was uh, – I think we got a little little uh, impatient today and tried to do damage early in the count, and it uh, worked against us. You know, sometimes when a team loses a tough one like you guys lost last night, the team can come out flat the next day. Did you sense any of that? A little bit, yeah. I told the team that. I thought uh, that was my concern. As I went home last night, because you play your your heart out, you leave it all out on the field, and you lose a heartbreaker to a really good team. And you know, I've coached in that league. That's why I told them those guys are used to this. They they're used to these environments. Uh, they're used to playing in really really tough, uh, close nail biting games every weekend. So uh, the 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 key to today was coming out with the same energy the same focus. And I, I didn't think, uh, I thought we did have a little less energy and a little less focus and, and they pretty much dominate the game is eight to one. Uh, I felt like it was 15 to one, to be honest with you. I just felt like we were never in the ball game. Uh, you know, I, I think our guys were, were playing hard. I think they were locked in. I just think, uh, things started working against us. We got down four to nothing. And, uh, it was obvious that Vermillion was controlling the game. We were probably in trouble because it, you know, one thing we, we do, we can hit the ball out of the ballpark. We hadn't yet, but uh, we have that chance. We have the ability to do that. And I didn't feel like today it was going to be a day where we could drive the ball out of the park. And uh, we really didn't get anything going offensively. And then on Vermillion, uh, was there any surprise today with how he pitched? I mean, he, he, he's been good as a reliever for him, but in his first couple of starts, he, he, he kind of struggled. Yeah, you know, he's not a guy that's going to get a lot of punch outs, even his, uh, his numbers say that. And I think we had two strikeouts, three walks. And it's just he, to me, I was kind of surprised how much tilt and angle he did have over the top. And that makes it tough on a hitter uh, to lay off that pitch. It's up around your hands. And uh, that was a little surprise to me. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting more sink slide 
type guy. But look, he uh, he worked fast. Uh, he was in the strike zone for the most part, and uh, he's just one of those guys. He's hard to get get uh, gauged up with because uh, it is over the top and and it, it's tilting. So it's uh, those guys when they're on, it's extremely hard to uh, get in a rhythm with them. When I talked to you the other day before the series, you mentioned something about this. Can tell you a lot about your team. Uh, what do you feel like your team's learned this week so far? Well, I mean, look, I think we got a good team. I, I, lo I love our team. I, I, uh, we need to continue to get better. And I think last night we showed if we come out and get after it, we can play with anybody in the country. And, uh, you know, look, I'm proud of the fact that some relievers that we're depleting our bullpen. We got a lot of injuries. And, and we, I, I felt like the game could have got out of hand plenty of times today, like 15 to 1. And I think uh, we minimized some innings. But, uh, you know, I, I just think when we want to and we're focused and we're locked in, we can play with anybody in the country. And and uh, well, talent-wise, our guys know that. We can't line up with Arkansas or our most teams in SEC. But we can uh, we can play hard. We can uh, play with a chip on our shoulder. And I thought we did last night. I did not think we did today. Okay, thank you, Lane. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Ben, you can go ahead and ask your questions. Coach, get, getting an inning late there for Bales. I know he hadn't pitched in a couple of years coming off Tommy John. How, you know, what did you see from him? What did you like from him today? Uh, you know, getting him in a situation that didn't have a hot, lot of high leverage to it. Yeah, that was, uh, we've been trying to get him in there because Coach Silva dropped his arm angle down uh, last year, or early in the fall. And uh, he's been up to 95, but he's, he's also thrown some balls off the backstop. He did today. And uh, it's just hard to put him in a situation where the game's on the line or we, it can't get out of hand. And he said today, you want to go with him? I said, we might as well. Let's see if he can do it. Uh, we're, we're depleted down there. And I, look, I told him after the game, Ben, I said, if, if you want to be our closer, you can. You just got to throw strikes because uh, it's 92, 93, up to 95 from a lefty underneath. And hitters just don't see that. So that was encouraging. That was probably the most encouraging thing of the day. And uh, he got he did hit the guy to start off. I don't know if he hit him, but he had the hard contact from uh, battles. But for the most part, those guys are hard to, it's hard to see when it's coming with that velocity down underneath. And last question, I'll let you get out of here. You might have already addressed this. What was your message post game to the guys Obviously, Arkansas is taking the series, but got to come out, play with some energy tomorrow as well. Yeah, find a way to win, whatever it takes. Doesn't matter if they're number one in the country or an unranked or whoever it is. Uh, you have to believe you can come out and win a ball game. And uh, if you win the game tomorrow, it's going to pay dividends down the road. The schedule doesn't get any easier. It's going to be a tough stretch. We knew that. Uh, I just want to see our guys come out with the same energy, uh, passion, uh, intensity that they did last night. It's easy to do that on Friday night when there's a good crowd and it's a great environment. Two guys are going at it. Uh, the, the great teams find a way to do it on Saturday and, and on Sunday. I didn't, I didn't think there was a lot of energy in the ballpark on either side. I just think it was a situation where they're better man to man, ta more talented than we are. We all know that they know it and they beat us. I didn't think they played with a lot of energy either. So one thing we can control is our, the, how hard we play. And I think tomorrow I look for our guys to come out with their hair on fire and, and win, lose, or draw, uh, find a way to, to uh, compete at a much higher level than we did offensively today. That was the disappointing part of the day. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks, Coach. Is that it? Yeah, you're good to go. All right, Ashley. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.